In this Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Fusion 360 to make an edge half lap joint for use in laser cutting. This is easy to do in Fusion 360, especially if we use user parameters. If we first go to the Modify Change Parameters menu in Fusion 360, then we can enter in user parameters that change and update if we change the values. Click the plus mark in the top right, and then we type in a user parameter name. For this, I'm going to type ply. You can enter an optional comment, in this case, thickness of material, and press OK. Now Fusion 360 knows this user parameter, and then we can make a parametric 3D model with it. We can add many other user parameters, but for this demonstration, we're just going to use this single one right here. Press OK. The first rule in Fusion 360 is to create a component. So I'll click Create, New Component. We'll call this side one. Then create a sketch. I'll click this wall and I'll make a rectangle. I'll press R, draw a rectangle. Then I can use the constraints and I can make the rectangle coincident to the origin. I could also click midpoint and click this line in the origin and it'll center it on the origin. Then I can give the rectangle dimensions. I'll give the rectangle dimension of 100 and a dimension of 200. Next, I'm going to draw in the space for the lap joint. I'll draw a rectangle right here, and then I can use the vertical constraint, and if I press and hold shift along this line in Fusion 360, notice we get this midpoint constraint, and then I can just have it centered along the midpoint right here, so it's always vertical along this midpoint. Then I can press D, and give this a dimension of ply, the user parameter. This way, if I change the thickness of my plywood, I can easily change this parameter. That way, if I change the thickness of my plywood, I can easily change this parameter. Remember, most plywood is not exact, so you need to measure it beforehand. In order to make this halfway, I'm going to press L to draw a line, and then I'm going to click Construction Line. I'll go ahead and zoom in. Now click from this point straight down to the origin. Then I'll unclick construction line, so I stop drawing construction lines. And in Fusion 360, we can use the equal constraint. I can click this line and one of these lines. And now these lines are always equal. I'll check my sketch, and it is fully constrained. Now I can finish my sketch, and then I can extrude. I have two choices. If I press E and I click on this piece, I could extrude one side. And if I do that and I type PLY, it'll extrude. And as you notice, it's on this side of the origin. It just goes one way. I could also go the other way by typing negative ply. Or I have a choice of making it symmetric. So then I could type ply divided by two, and then it's centered on the origin. There is no right way to do this, but for rotation and pattern, sometimes having it halfway is a good way to work. So I'll press OK. So now I have the first body. Next, I need to make a new component. To do that, I'll click the top level component, and then I'll click Create New Component. I'll call this Side 2, and press OK. Of course, I could have rotated this side and made a one that's exactly the same, but maybe I don't want one that's exactly the same. Maybe I wanted a different shape. So I'm going to click Create Sketch, and this time I'm going to go ahead and create my sketch right on this plane here. Since I created everything centered on the origin, this will work great. If I didn't have a plane here, I could create a mid-plane in between these two points. In order to do that, you would click Construct Mid-Plane, then I'll click this side, then this side, and press OK. In this case, it's the same as the origin, and now I can create my sketch on that plane. This works well if you don't have your slot centered on the origin. Now I need to project in this piece. So I can press P, and if I select this face right here, it'll project it onto my piece. That's all I need, and I can press OK. Then I'm gonna center back on my sketch, and now I can go ahead and draw what shape piece I want. So first, I'm gonna draw an L, and I'm just gonna draw over, and to demonstrate that this doesn't need to be the same shape, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a shape like this, and then over to the origin. Actually, I'll go past the origin, and then I'll draw up. This will be 
our piece. I'm gonna go ahead and make this constraint right here be coincident with that piece there. And then I'm gonna make this one be horizontal. We'll make these equal just for ease. And we'll make these two equal. And I'll give this a dimension of 200. And we'll make it horizontal and coincident with the origin. So that way everything is the same. We just have a couple other dimensions to do. So then I can make this dimension here. Let's make this 75. And we'll make this one. Actually, I want to delete this line here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that line. And then we'll make these two points coincident just to simplify the shape. Then we just need to give these an angle. Actually, instead of that, I'll just make this point in the midpoint. So I'll click this point and this line here, and it should almost constrain our sketch. Then we just need to give one of these a dimension, and let's give this a dimension of 50. So now our sketch is fully constrained, but how do we want to extrude our sketch? In this case, we want to have a cut down at the bottom. So instead of going Instead of having the cut here, we actually want the cut in the bottom. So let's go ahead and draw the cut. So I need to get a rectangle, and I can go straight from these projection points all the way down to the bottom. And then I can use the coincident constraint in Fusion 360 to make this point coincident with that point. So now we have the point for the slot drawn right here. We can go ahead and finish our sketch, press E, and then select the parts that we want to extrude. I can select this part this part, and then this center piece right here. So this should extrude the piece we want. And if you look here, it is in the middle. So we want to go once again, symmetric, and then ply divided by two. So that gives us our piece right there. And if I go to the top level component, you can see that we have our pieces joined together. And if I go inspect, display component colors, you can tell these are different colors. Normally we wouldn't move a piece, but if I click this piece and I press M and I move it up, we can see that this piece would slot right into that piece. So this is a great way to make half lap edge joints with a laser cutter in Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling.